MDaemon Webmail includes calendar publishing, which allows users to publish their schedule of availability, allowing others to book appointments at pre-selected available times. And with MDaemon 23.5.1, we've added the ability to specify a meeting location and add additional comments. To publish your calendar in MDaemon Webmail, go to the Options menu, then click on Folders, and scroll down to the Folder listing. In this case, I'm going to create a new calendar folder. So we'll click on New Folder. And I'm going to call this folder Appointments. And then we'll specify the folder type to be a calendar. And then we'll click on Save. And by the way, even though I created a new calendar folder specifically for appointment booking, these calendar publishing features will work with any of your MDM and Webmail calendars, including your default calendar. So now let's select our new calendar folder right here. And to publish our schedule of availability, we click on this button right here. Notice if you hover your mouse, it'll say Publish Schedule. So we will click on this button. And on this screen, we can specify our schedule of availability as well as some other parameters. We've got the folder name as indicated here. We have a checkbox where we can enable this schedule. This box is checked by default. We can optionally automatically accept meetings. Otherwise, they will show up on our calendar marked as tentative. And you can read more information by clicking on the little help tip right here. You can specify an optional display name. For example, schedule an appointment with the user. And then in MDMN 23.5, we added a location field, which is optional. So for example, you could specify a particular meeting room or a particular address or whatever you'd like and then a comments field so you can specify whatever comments you'd like you can specify the default meeting length for example 20 minutes 30 minutes one hour I'm going to choose 30 minutes you can specify how much of your schedule is visible for example two weeks three weeks four weeks and so forth and you can specify scheduled meeting reminders what interval you'd like to be reminded for example one day ahead of time five hours ahead of time and so forth. And then what we do is we specify our days of availability. For example, if I start with Monday, so on Mondays, I can specify what hours I'm available. For example, eight o'clock AM until say 12 o'clock PM and then add availability. And if I wanted to add another time slot, I could say, for example, three o'clock PM until 5.30 PM and then click Add Availability again. These get added to a list at the bottom where you can see all of the available time slots that you've specified. So now that we've specified our availability for Monday, let's do the same thing for the other days that we are available. So for example, I'll select Tuesday. So let's say for example, I'm available from one o'clock p.m. until five o'clock p.m. I'll add my availability. And then I'm just going to repeat these steps for the additional days of the week. Notice, by the way, that my availability is listed down here at the bottom. I'll go to the next day and do the same thing. And then I'll add one for Thursday. Now, if you've entered your hours of availability for one day and you'd like to copy those same hours to other days without having to enter them manually, you can use the Copy Availability button shown here and then simply check the box for each additional day that you would like to apply these hours of availability to and then click on copy and then your available hours will again show on each day that you've copied them to and then I'll go ahead and publish my calendar now when you click on the publish button a URL is generated which you can share with others allowing them to schedule appointments with you so if we copy this URL you can then share this URL with others and when the recipient clicks on the link they can then specify which date and time they would like to schedule a meeting with you. So say, for example, January 11th here, I want to schedule a meeting at 2 o'clock p.m. And then from here, I'll enter my name and email address and any additional comments, such as an address, a phone number, or any other additional notes. And then we'll click on Request Appointment. You'll receive this confirmation indicating that your request has been sent to the user. You will also receive an email if the meeting has been approved or declined. Now at this time, the owner of the calendar, the MDMN user in this case, will receive an email indicating that a meeting request has been received. So we can open this email. And this is just to inform you that the meeting has been added to your calendar with a status of tentative as shown here. So let's go to our calendar. 
And here's our new meeting. You can see here the busy status is tentative until we approve it. We can go in and edit the meeting. And then we can set our time as free, tentative, busy, or out of office. We can enter a location. And we can add any notes or comments. And at the bottom you have your list of attendees as shown here. And then we can simply click on this button here at the top to save our meeting. Thank you.